Film photography is, let's face it, expensive. Film prices keep going up, and that Mamiya you wanted is now going for three grand on eBay. Maybe you wanted to pump to medium format, but you spent all your money on portrait and are dangerously close to finding out if vintage leather camera straps are edible. If any of that sounds familiar, then boy do I have the camera for you. When it comes to absolute bargain medium format cameras, there are basically two options. One, inherit Grandad's mint Pentax 6-7, which he personally bludgeoned someone to death with. Or two, buy something cheap and plastic like a Holger. But pink and plastic as they are, Holgers are still like 30 quid, and that's just too much for us. We can do better. Behold, the Agfa Isola 1 a distant ancestor of the Holger. Like all the best film cameras, it's completely unpacked with absolutely no features whatsoever. You won't find your shooting experience polluted by things like shutter speeds or accurate focusing here. I mean, that's practically digital anyway. It's nice and straightforward. It has a collapsible lens of unclear focal length, three separate focusing distances, a completely uncoupled viewfinder, and three different aperture settings. Cloudy, sunny, and yellow. For the privilege of using such a masterpiece of photographic engineering, I paid the grand total of £12 plus £3 postage on eBay, or about half a Holger. But enough of bedazzling you all with its awesome specs, let's see what this camera can actually do. Now as this camera has only one shutter speed, helpfully labelled M, it probably would have been wise to use a tripod, which is why I didn't do that and shot all of these handheld. Focusing with this camera is interesting. As I said, it has three predetermined ranges. You can actually set the focus to in between the ranges, but I have no idea if that would actually do anything, especially as the ranges like overlap on the ends. For most of these shots, I just set focus to infinity and hoped that I was far enough away. Like all the best medium format cameras, it shoots 6x6 or a perfect square, which is ideal for sharing your images with all three of your Instagram followers. When it comes to aperture, since I was in shade under trees most of the time, I just set it to cloudy to get the most light possible, whatever that is. I did accidentally bump it to yellow for one shot, which is the same aperture size as cloudy, but with a yellow filter. Um, as far as I can tell, this had absolutely no effect on the final image at all. It looked exactly the same as all the others. Shockingly enough, or perhaps shocking to you, but not to me as I'm lying for dramatic effect and have actually used this camera before, the images it produces are actually kind of good. So long as you're not trying to get macro shots or portraits, it's perfectly usable. Just set focus to infinity, stand very still and hope for the best. As I said before, I've actually owned this camera for a while and have used it in the past, and I have even tried my hand at some street photography with it, which you can see some results of here. A bit of a mixed bag, but I wouldn't call it unusable, all of these are on my Instagram. If these images tell us one thing, it's that you should grab your Mamiya 7, throw it off a bridge, and rush out and buy one of these instead. After all, what could be more analogue than having pretty much no settings and almost no control of your actual images? Isn't that what the spirit of lamography is all about? I personally am going to be getting rid of all my cameras and will only use this from now on. If you're looking for a cheap medium format camera, I actually think this is a perfectly good choice. 
Obviously there are types of shooting that it won't suit, such as portraits or anything where you need some kind of fine control over your image, but it's perfectly good for landscapes or anything where you just want to point the camera and hope for the best, which let's face it, is what most of us do all the time anyway. If you liked this video, there are some other videos that I have made that you can watch. Here are some of them. If you didn't like this video, why are you still here?